What's that thing? <laughs> it's a horse head skeleton. Johnny Morton's father found it on the desert. <laughs> Dad, yeah. how much money will the good fairy leave me if I put a tiny little baby tooth under my pillow? Well, have you got another loose one? Let's see, the last time the good fairy left you 10 cents. Boy, can you imagine what she'll leave me tonight? When she finds this big old horse's tooth? <laughs> Ringing doorbells is just an expression. We're going from door to door asking people what they'd like to give to the charity drive. I bet I know what Freddie Long would like to give. What? His new baby brother. <laughs> Don't you just love this old bone pitcher? It's a cocoa pitcher, really, you know. My grandmother gave it to me as part of my trousseau. Oh, the doilies, I tatted myself. They were tatted by loving hands, you might say, for a hope chest. <laughs> Uh, I should get back to finishing that TV set of yours, Miss Cathcart. You pay me by the hour, you know. Oh, don't fret about the expense, Maurice. After all, everyone's entitled to a coffee break now and then, especially men. <laughs> now, isn't this a cozy love seat? It's stuffed with real horse hair. Oh, I could tell. <laughs> well, I'd better be getting back. Oh, you haven't even touched your coffee. And I brewed this pot just the way Mother, may she rest in peace, always used to brew it. I added just a touch of salt. It's nice. Do you really like it? Yes, but it's just a little too salt. Oh, well, have a little sugar. No, I'd better fix your TV oh, set. Now, Maurice, that can wait. Rome wasn't fixed in a day. You know, I had no idea that you were single, too, Maurice. Oh, I just love your name, Maurice. You know, there aren't many Maurices around anymore, are there? I promised a lot of customers for today, oh, Miss Cat. No, oh, why don't you call me Esther? After all, I call you Maurice. You know, I had no idea that you were single, too, and I can usually sense a single person. <laughs> Uh, Mother, may she rest in peace, always said that a man should have a helpmate by his side when he toiled. Can I help you here, Maurice? Well, if I could just have a little elbow room. Oh, surely. <laughs> now, let me at this for a second, and you'll... Mule! That's it. I've been trying all day to re remember who you reminded me of. Yule Brinner. <laughs> Brinner? Can't say that I know the family. <laughs> should have done it. Now, when you see the picture. Just a minute, I won't be long. I can't understand why that set hasn't warmed up yet. Hi, Miss Cathcart. Where were you, in the bathtub? Oh, Dennis. Hello, Dennis. How are you, Alice? <laughs> Dennis and I are collecting for the charity drive. Oh, well, what's everybody else giving? You're the first, Miss Cathcart. Well, whatever everyone else gives, I'll give. I'll just stay here and eat some of those swell cookies you make until Mom finds out about everybody else. Oh, no, no, don't do that. What about a dollar? A two dollars? Would three dollars be all right? <laughs> hey, Mom, this is where good old Miss Cathcart keeps the gumdrops. You're not gonna watch TV, mister, as long as that plug's out. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, here's your three dollars, Alice. Oh, thank you, Miss Cathcart. Now, just a moment, I'll write you a receipt. Oh, no, I really haven't time. I mean, I really don't need one. Excuse me. Uh, please don't go. Oh, we won't, Miss Cathcart. Dennis, Miss Cathcart wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Excuse me, Maurice, do you know Mrs. Mitchell? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Uh, same here, and uh, thanks, Sonny. For what? Oh, just let it go with thanks. <laughs> What do I owe you? I'll send you the bill. Well, look, why don't I give you some coffee in my thermos bottle? Now, there's no rush about returning it. I won't need it until tonight. I get heartburn from too much coffee. Oh. <laughs> Maurice, I've got some bicarbonate. <laughs> Here. 
Hello. Oh, hello, Adelaide. We just got back. Oh, we did pretty well. I collected $11. Do you know Miss Cathcart gave $3? Wasn't that nice of her? <laughs> yes, I agree. It would be the best thing in the world for her. Well, fine. I'll drop the money by sometime tomorrow. All right, Adelaide, bye. Mom, what would be the best thing for Miss Cathcart? Oh, we were just thinking how nice it would be if Miss Cathcart had a best friend. Well, someone around to protect her and take care of her. What do you mean? You know, I, I, was, uh, well, I said it, a best friend, that's all. Any best friend of good old Miss Cathcart's would be a best friend of mine. <laughs> I'll get her. It's Mr. Wilson. Hey, Mom, it's Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Wilson. You want to trade baseball cards? Baseball cards? Oh, come oh. in, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mr. Singerman over on Sage Street just called me. The dog catcher grabbed Fremont, and Martha's out shopping with the car. Oh, would you like me to drive you somewhere? Oh, that would be wonderful. Poor Fremont's probably in the pound. In the pound? That's awful. Hey, what's the pound, Mom? Oh, Dennis, it's a place where they take stray dogs, dogs that get lost or don't have a home. Well, I certainly appreciate this, Alice. Oh, I'll just get my purse. Oh. I bet you sure feel lonesome without old Fremont. Oh, yes, Dennis. A man's best friend is his dog. After his mother. <laughs> My name's Dennis Mitchell. Oh, I'm Leo Trinko. I'm glad to know you. Where's the dog catcher? Well, uh, they don't call us dog catchers no more. I'm listed as a canine social worker. <laughs> Who's the dog catcher, Mr. Wilson? Oh, hello there. I can't understand why you people picked up my dog. Well, if they're off the leash, we gotta pick them up. That's a law. Well, where is my dog? He's a Cairn Terrier. Oh, well, uh, oh, Cairn, Cairn. Cairn Terrier, a small terrier uh, from the Isle of uh, Isle of Skye, uh, resemble the uh, uh, West Highland Terrier, uh, white terrier. Uh, there, how's that? Where is my dog? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Fremont. Fremont, the names they give dogs these days. Whatever happened to names like Brownie and Fido and Blackie and Rover. Uh, will you dogs please be quiet back there? Would you please get my dog? Is it fun being a dog catcher? Well, uh, it's okay. It's a job. A couple of years ago, my wife wanted me to get on one of them quiz shows, you know. So I goes out and gets me a category, dogs. By the time I get dogs down cold, why, those darn quiz shows was off the air. And there I was, <laughs> stuck with all that dope about dogs. So I... Uh, I got me this job. It's, um, okay. Good hours. Would you please get my dog, Fremont? Oh, yeah, I, uh... Names I give dogs. Uh, hello, Maud? Uh, we got a Cairn Terrier back there by the name of Friedman. Fremont, not Friedman. <laughs> well, correction, Maud. Uh, Fremont. Yeah, uh, check that out, please. What kind of a dog is this? Oh, he's just a big mutt, part Airedale, part Afghan hound. Yeah, let's see, Airedale. Airedale from the uh, Valley of the River Air in uh, Yorkshire, England. Uh, uh, let's see, oh, these two-part questions. Uh, <laughs> Afghan hound from Afghanistan used to hunt lions and leopards. Yeah, how's that? What about my dog? Yeah, Maud's checking on it. You know, I always say a dog is a man's best friend, even though some of them do give me the hives. <laughs> is a dog a lady's best friend, too? Yeah, I guess so. He is an interesting dog. Yeah, uh, dates back to uh, 2200 B.C. Came from the Orient and uh, <laughs> China. And uh, that is the Afghan part of him. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, 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 oh. Maud, checking on that can? What's the big dog's name? Well, I think it's Arthur. <laughs> that, at least that's what was on the tag. And uh, it said Arthur, and the rest was kind of faded away. Uh... Names they give dogs these days, I tell you. I hope you find a nice home for Arthur. Well, you know, son, that's the part I like best about this job, finding nice homes for these dogs. I, I got him out here. He's, he's kind of like uh, this week's special. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like a very well-trained animal to me. Arthur, come on, sit up, boy. 
Up, Arthur. Up, up, boy. Up. Oh, isn't even trained at all. I bet you could train him, Mr. Wilson. Well, I have had some experience with dogs before, you know. You give me an hour or so with any animal, and I'll give you a better-behaved beast. Trinko, got one care and ready to go. Oh, that's you. Well, come on, we'll go in the back here and sort of expedite things. You know, it's nice talking with a man who knows so much about the dog. <laughs> it sure would be nice if someone found a good home for old Arthur, wouldn't it, Mom? Yes, it would, dear. <laughs> I want What I meant was that because good old Miss Cathcart needed something to protect her and to take care of her, that Arthur would be it. A dog sure could protect Miss Cathcart, all right. <laughs> Shall we go tell Miss Cathcart about Arthur? Race ya. <laughs> Henry, you're as bad as Dennis. Don't wash in the sink. <laughs> Honey, don't be an old funny dud. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, what's so wrong with washing in the sink? Well, nothing really, now, but... don't get mad, but you know what I think? It's because your mother said it to you that you say it to us. <laughs> Could be. Well, that's the first time I ever said anything about your family and didn't get into an argument. <laughs> I guess the marriage is going to work after all. <laughs> Where's Dennis? He's out playing with Tommy. Oh, Henry, he was so cute at the pound today. How come? Well, he was so concerned about getting homes for all those dogs. <sighs> That's when Dennis scares me the most. When, dear? When he gets concerned. <laughs> I'm glad you smiled when you said that. Yeah, it was a nervous smile. <laughs> we just gotta tell you about all. Listen, Dennis and Tommy, why don't you come back tomorrow and I'll make you some cookies. <laughs> what are you looking for? My tube checker. I came back for my tube checker. What's a tube checker look like? Isn't that your mother calling you, Tommy? She never calls. She means a cowbell. <laughs> if you're looking for a little box, mister, you're cold. Oh, Dennis, why don't you come out in the kitchen? I've got something to show you. Warmer! Dennis, why don't you see what I've got? Warmer, warmer! Hot! Hot. Hot. Oh. Oh. Oh, my, how on earth did that get there, Mom? I can't imagine, Miss Cathcart. I wish you'd call me Esther. Fellas, bye. <laughs> Maurice. Can we tell you about Arthur now? He's a very nice big dog, Miss Cathcart. Uh huh. Isn't Arthur a nice name? Arthur? Sure, the best friend we're getting for you. Oh, yeah, yes. You want him, don't you? We told him about you. Oh, here, let me get something for you. Here, boy. How did he tell you? Dennis yeah. says he has kind of short hair. Oh. Do you like him with long hair or short hair? Long hair or short hair? Oh, come on over and sit down. Come on, boy. I really don't care if he's bald. Because I've never seen a bald one. Now, listen, tell me all about Arthur. Where is he from? Where does he live and what's he like? Dennis says Arthur was a lion hunter in Africa, but he's from China. Oh. Oh, here, have another piece of candy. <laughs> here. Oh, well, now you're sure he has no family. No, um... He's all by himself. Oh. And that's no way for a dog to live. That's no way for anyone to live. I'll bring him over in a little while. You will? Here, have another piece of candy. We're gonna bring him over in a little while. Oh, my. Oh, what about dinner? Could he come and stay to dinner? If you like him, he could stay for good. For good? <laughs> Son? Thanks. That'll be three dollars. Three dollars? Boy, that's an expensive gift. Oh, you giving them to somebody? To Miss Cathcart over on Maple Avenue. She needs a best friend. Well, I think that's real nice. But I can't get it for her now. On account of I can only jiggle 40 cents out of my piggy bank. And I've only got a dime. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll make up the difference myself. Trinkle? Oh, that's all right. Now, let me tell you about his diet. He gets about a pound and a quarter of meat a day. Now, you tell that Miss Carhart... Cathcart over on Maple Avenue. Uh, Miss, uh, yeah. Uh, you tell her not to give him vegetables like broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Uh, he can have, oh, maybe a, a raw egg and a little cottage cheese. 
You don't have to worry about feeding him. Miss Cathcart's a good cook. Will you dogs please be quiet? The kids are talking out here. Gee, thanks a lot, Mr. Trinkle. Oh, that's all right. I'm glad to see you get such a nice home. Now, if you know of any other people that need a dog, why, you come on in, because the place is just full of them. Oh, look. Hives. Hi, Mr. Trinkle. <laughs> Great Scott, Arthur. Miss Cathcart. Have you told Miss Cathcart about Arthur? Yeah. Boy, if you could teach him something, wouldn't Miss Cathcart be happy? <laughs> well. Gee, Prince Tommy, I bet you didn't know that good old Mr. Wilson did a lot of training in his days. He's a great animal trainer, aren't you, Mr. Wilson? Well, I have done some work in the field. <laughs> <laughs> down, Arthur, go on, get down, get down. What are you making him do now, Mr. Wilson? I I'm not making him do anything yet. Poor beast is starved for mm -hmm. affection. How long do you think it'll take to train him, Mr. Wilson? Quite a while, I'm afraid. I better go tell Miss Cathcart that he's going to be late for supper. <laughs> Like what? Food. He can't have broccoli or Russell sprouts or things like that. Those adventurers always have bad stomachs. Well, I'll fix him something bland. Marvelous, but bland. We better get back before Mr. Wilson maybe spoils his appetite. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir? Uh, my name is Prillich, P-R-I-L-Y-C-H. I'm a traveling man, been around this neck of the woods for about a week. Yes, sir? I lost my dog. Oh, that's too bad. But I guess we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean lost, missing. Oh, uh, what breed? Well, he has an Airedale front and an Afghan back. We've got him. You have? Yep, uh, by the name of Arthur? No, Arthur is my name. The dog's name is Zambezi. Uh, my name is on the tag, I think. Oh, well, I, I thought the name on, on the tag was his. <laughs> you know, them, them, them nut names are given these dogs nowadays. <laughs> I've checked every town in the county. Am I glad he's here? Yeah, we sold him. Sold him? Yeah, I, I can give you the name of the lady the kid gave him to. Let's see. It, uh, here we are. Uh, kid's name is Dennis Mitchell, and he gave him to a Miss Esther Cathart. Uh, Carhart. Uh, Cath Cathcart. Yeah, she lives over on Maple, 620 Maple. Yeah, there you are. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson, but we can't let you train Arthur anymore yeah. right now. Miss Cathcart's got his supper ready. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Wilson, have you seen Dennis? Oh, he, he was here, but left a while ago on his errand of mercy. What? He was taking Arthur over to Miss Cathcart's. I... Oh, no, not that big dog. <laughs> Miss uh, Cathcart? Yes? Do you know uh, Dennis Mitchell? Arthur? Yes, that's my name. Well, what do you see what I whipped up, Arthur? <laughs> Come in, give me your hat. I've never known a lion hunter before. I did see Trader Horn years ago. I was just a child, but I remember it well. Come on, sit down, Arthur. There, look, chopsticks. And I can use either hand. I'm a switch eater. But, Miss Cathcart, I... I wish you'd call me Esther. After all, I call you Arthur. 
Oh, would you like some tea? It's Lapsan Su Chang. But, Miss Cathcart, there must be some mistake. Oh, perhaps I... you prefer oolong tea. <laughs> it's probably a peddler. Just ignore it. You were saying? I was saying. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> He's here, Miss Cathcart. I know. Thank you. <laughs> it was our little matchmaker. <laughs> he is a darling. Miss Cathcart, I don't know whether you know why I came. I know. And I know you won't believe it when I tell you that I had a feeling about this only this morning while the television repairman was here. It was in my horoscope. You see, I'm a Taurus on the cusp. Shakespeare was a Taurus, too. Now, Mother was a Pisces, on the cusp, too, and Father was an elk. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I do hope you like egg foo young. I'll get to learn about your African dishes. <laughs> Tommy, Dennis, we're just getting to know each other. Now, thank you so much. He's charming. <laughs> The young folks want to be alone. But, but you didn't even look at Arthur. Look at him? I can't take my eyes off of him. <laughs> See how he's wagging his tail? What? <laughs> look at him wagging. <laughs> you ever see a better best friend? <laughs> and he's all yours from Dennis. Zambezi. Zambezi! <laughs> Never mind, I'll get it fixed for you. I'll fix it. I'll get it! Oh, Dennis. <laughs> Mr. Wilson just told us about the dog. Dennis was just trying to find a home for the dog. Well, this dog has a home. Dennis, did you do that? No, he didn't do it. I did it. Uh, that is, the dog did it. My name is Prillich. Oh, Henry Mitchell. Uh, this is my wife, Alice. Uh, How do you do? This is Arthur, Dad! No, young man. I am Arthur. The dog's name is Zambezi. My wife named him that. You're married? <laughs> I feel awful about the set, Miss Cathcart. Well, I just feel awful. Oh, <laughs> now, don't think about it, ma'am. I'm in the game. Regional manager, Intercontinental Tube. I'll have one of my repairmen fix that in no time. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give this little lady here, I'm going to give her a free TV service policy for a whole year. Oh, well, that won't be necessary. The dog didn't do it on purpose. Uh, well, the whole thing has been embarrassing, and I just want you to know how we are at Intercontinental Tube. Now, you pick a TV repair man, and we'll pay for all of his calls to you for the next year. Yes, that's a very good idea. Now, you just pick a TV man for yourself. Well, when do I start picking? Well, the set's on the fritz now, isn't it? Why not begin right now? All right. Maurice, excuse me. He's not married. And, young man, I'd like to give you a little something, too. After all, you're really the one who found my dog. Oh, that won't be necessary, Mr. Prillich, really. But I insist. Here you are, ten dollars. Uh, uh, really, Mr. Prillage? Ten dollars? And do I know what I can do with this? Is Maurice there, please? Well, Gee, thanks, no. Mr. Prillage. Esther. Thanks a million. Just say it's well, Esther. Uh, thanks, Mr. Prillage. I, I mean, uh, where did Dennis go? Uh, goodbye, Mr. Prillage. Uh, Mrs. Mitchell. Hello, Maurice. It's Esther. Guess. Go on, guess. <laughs> Esther Cath. Rhymes with heart. <laughs> Esther Cathcart, silly. <laughs> Why, you hear how I broke the set this time? <laughs>
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.